Hey guys, today we'll be rebuilding all the QC6 Quick Connects on the ETS equipment. This goes for the 1300, the Mini MEP, the MEP, as well as the MEP70. ETS provides two different types of Quick Connects. We provide one with a spring and stopper and one with just the O-rings. With the two kits we provide, one is just the O-rings and the other includes the spring and the stopper. The main difference between these two is that the O-rings are good for just general repairs when you're seeing small leaks or over just general time use. When you want to use the spring and stopper kit is when the spring itself loses tension or every quarter just to do preventative maintenance. Tools you'll need will be two three quarter wrenches. You can also go with a 19 millimeter or a crescent wrench if you don't have two three quarters and a thread pick to help remove O-rings and clear out any dirt or debris. Start by doing a full rebuild which includes the spring and the stopper. Take my first three quarter wrench, put it on the hexagon fitting right here. Take my second three quarter wrench, put it on the semicircle with two flat sides. And quick turn, loosen right up, and then loosen the rest by hand. You want to be careful when removing the two housings from each other as the spring may want to shoot other components out. I can go ahead and set my old spring off the side, my old nail housing off the side. I can then take out the sleeve and the stopper from the inside of the female housing and set that off the side. I'll then take my o-ring pick and I can push the stopper out from the sleeve, setting that with the old spring. And I'll remove the largest o-ring from the outside of the sleeve, placing it with my old o-rings, along with the medium sized o-ring from the inside of the sleeve. I'll then take my large o-ring from my new pack, put it on the outside of my sleeve. Take my medium sized o-ring from my new pack, put it on the inside of the sleeve where, is the, where there's the seat. And then set that down. Take my male housing, put the spring inside of the male housing. Taking the cone stopper, putting a cone face up. And I can take my sleeve, putting the cone face to match the cone face. I can take my female housing, place it over that, and hand tighten them together. Once they are hand tight, I can go ahead and take my two three quarter wrenches, put them back on the semi circle in the hexagon fitting, and tighten them, and boom, we're all good to go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date. Follow us on Instagram. And if you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.